Summary of steps to upgrade from release 12.2.3 to 12.2.4. So here I have written a sequential number of steps that would assist you greatly in upgrading from 12.2.3 to 12.2.4. First you have got to run a number of pre-installation steps that would include upgrading your start CD version from the present 12.2.0.47 to 12.2.0.48. To do that, you've got to apply the below given patches using the opatch utility on your database tire. This includes patch number 176007197693770, and 18259911. So these are all the patches that constitutes the start CD version 12.2.0.48. In addition to that, you've got to also apply the patches that are not included in any of the start CDs at all. That includes these seven patches I have listed over here. Then as a next step, you've got to upgrade the existing AD and TXK release update pack by applying the following patches. This includes patch number 182-832-95, and 192-59764. You've got to apply these patches in a sequential order by opening a new patching cycle using ADOP utility and then apply the patches incrementally and finish off applying and then at the end of that you've got to close the ADOP cycle and synchronize your run file system with your patch file system. For more information about the patches that I have just shown you in relation to upgrading your start CD version from 12.2.0.47 to 48 please feel free to refer to my Oracle support document ID 1594274.1 with the title of Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2 consolidated list of patches and technology bug fixes. And the patches that I have referred for AD and TXK release update packs can be referred in Oracle document ID 1617461.1 with the title of applying the latest AD and TXK release update packs to Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.2. So these are the patches that you have got to apply precisely if you are on release 12.2.3 at the moment. But chances are that you could be on an earlier release. For example, if you are on release 12.2.2, then your start CD version may not be 47, it could be 46. So in that case, you've got to apply all the patches within start CD version 47 and 48, plus the patches that are not included in any of the start CD versions at all. At the same time, You've got to also apply the latest AD and TXK release update packs that I have listed over here. So once you are done with these pre-installation steps, then you can proceed ahead to the installation or in other words, the actual steps to upgrade from release 12.2.3 to 12.2.4. That includes downloading the following three patches. One is the patch number 1791961, which is the actual patch for suite wide upgrading to 12.2.4. And the second patch is 1791962. This is a help patch for your upgrade of release 12.2.4. Then the third patch is 1929041, which is in relation to help patch for Oracle Grants Accounting User Guide release 12.2.4. So you've got to start by unzipping these patches and then 
source your run edition application environment because what happens is after you are done by applying these patches in a patching cycle at the end of patching cycle it's going to switch your run file edition and patch file edition so the run file edition will be new and that's what you've got to make sure you are applying the patches to the right run file edition and hence this step is very important and then you've got to start a new patching cycle using the ADOP utility with giving this particular command and then as you would have done in applying these patches onto a patching cycle you've got to incrementally follow the steps of applying the patch and then finalizing cutover and cleanup phases of the ADOP patching cycle lastly you've got to synchronize your run file system with your patch file system and at that point of time you would have a slight shakeup in the form of bringing down your system then you've got a couple of post installation steps which means after you are done upgrading to release 12.2.4 you've got to apply the remaining two patches that I have shown you over here and they are considerably smaller patches so it wouldn't take that long to have them applied and you don't have to open another patching cycle and you can simply apply them on hot patch mode wherein your users wouldn't be affected at all and then you've got to grant flex field value set access to specific users this is a required step you've got to do and the exact details of the steps I have covered in my course for upgrading from release 12.2.3 to 12.2.4 then you've got to register new products so in release 12.2.4 Oracle has released two new products by the name of Oracle Yard Management and Oracle in-memory cost management so if you have been licensed for these products then you've got to go to the license manager via Oracle Applications Manager and have them registered. Again, more details about that I have covered it in my course in much more detail. Then lastly, you've got to perform product specific steps and they are optional steps. If at all you have implemented any of these products in your eBusiness Suite instance, then you perform these steps one by one. And again, more about each of these individual product families are something that I have covered in my course in detail. References, I have already shown you the references over here. So these are the major reference documents that I would highly recommend you to refer prior to you planning for an upgrade to release 12.2.3 to 12.2.4. If you have any further questions in relation to this upgrade or if you would like to know the actual process of upgrade right from downloading the patches, unzipping the patches and starting the patching cycle, applying on to the database tire as well as the application tire, then feel free to take my course on release 12.2.4 upgrade on my website www.aclnz. Dot com. And to assist you further, I have published the entire sequence of these steps in detail on my website social.aclnz.com. So feel free to go and have a look there. Let me just show you very quickly. So if you come here at social.aclnz.com, you can simply go to the blogs menu and within that you will find Oracle eBusiness Suite steps to upgrade from release 12.2.3 to 12.2.4 so click on that and it would contain all the steps that I have just explained you in the form of pre-installation steps the patches to be downloaded and the actual installation and then the post installation steps where possible I have also given you the exact command to use while you are applying the patches in a patching cycle using ADOP utility.